Well, the main, uh, the main effect is overuse of antibiotics. Because if you are treating asymptomatic bacteria, you're overusing antibiotics, using antibiotics unnecessarily. And of course, there are all the downstream effects of overuse of antibiotics. There's, uh, you promote antibiotic resistance, you increase the risk for C. diff, you increase hospital costs. Um, so that's the main thing, is overuse of antibiotics. But the other thing that comes from treating asymptomatic bacteria is missing the real diagnosis. And it happens all the time. Because a patient comes to the emergency room with an indwelling catheter, say it's a marginally verbal, you know, older adult. And they have an indwelling urinary catheter and everyone can see the cloudy urine and it smells bad. So everybody starts working up and treating for UTI, but they might be missing the real reason while the person is in the emergency room. Say they're there for falls, which by the way are not a symptom of UTI. <laughs> well, there are a lot of reasons people fall and one of the most common is we've over-treated their high blood pressure medication and we need to change that. <laughs> So they don't fall again when they leave the hospital and go back to their care facility. Another thing is dehydration. That's extremely common. So while they're in the hospital and they're getting IV antibiotics, they're also getting IV fluids so they get better, but we gave them an unnecessary course of antibiotics. People have minor strokes and that causes a behavior change, but we're still treating them for UTI. So we miss a lot. I mean, extremely uh, dramatic case that happened in our long-term care facility, but it, it, not a fault of our long-term care facility, this is happening everywhere, was the patient actually had developed um, necrotizing fasciitis from a buttock wound and was treated for UTI for the initial 24 hours, but they actually had this very severe infection that was picked up and then later went to the operating room for treatment of that. Well, people start them on antibiotics for, quote, UTI and feel that the patient is now covered and they stop the work up there but you're missing what actually caused the patient's symptom, which may or may not be, the symptom is probably not related to the urinary tract and they need to be actually worked up for the cause of that symptom.